I have a Dell G5 SE and in this video I'm going to show you how to get rid of Smart Shift. It's not it's not a very good not a very good thing at all. Uh, disabling it will yield your system many results. Uh, I'm not going to get too into it, but if you disable it, your GPUs will work independent of each other. Uh, the iGPU and the dedicated GPU, along with the processor, it won't virtualize anything. And as far as I know, this system, along with other systems, are one of the few, I don't want to say run of the litters when it comes to Smart Shift. Uh, it's beneficial to disable it if you have the same Dell G5 SE that I have with the RX 5600 and the Ryzen 7 4800. Uh, make sure your BIOS is updated to 1.5.0. It has been tested on 1.3.0. Not sure if it works. Haven't tested that myself. Just taking other people's words on it. Uh, I have disabled it on this machine. Works just fine. If you go into the Radeon Performance tab, just to prove that it is working on my system, Smart Shift is no longer here. It's just, it's just not here. I got rid of it. Uh, yeah. It's 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 done over with. I was sick of it. it, caused me many issues, many performance issues, but whatever. So you want to go to this website, ruexe.blogspot.com, and then you want to download this right here. The password is right here. So when you go to extract it with 7-zip, the password is right here. Uh, not that difficult. Then you want to go to Rufus, the Rufus website wherever it is. Yeah, this one. This is the Rufus website. Rufus.ie. Go here. Download Rufus. Uh, no big deal. And I will be reformatting the flash drive just to show you how it's done. So, you have this downloaded. You have Rufus downloaded. Go to the desktop. Open up your files here. You want to go to this PC and your external USB drive. Just leave this open for now. Uh, go to Rufus, open it up. It'll say boot selection. Now you are going to boot into it, but make sure uh, you select non-bootable for the formatting of this, and then you select what you want to make non-bootable, even though it will be bootable, trust me. You select the flash drive. Hello? Or wait. No, no, no. You don't don't get don't go in that menu. Don't go in that menu. So just select non bootable. Uh none of this really matters, but what does matter is that it has to be FAT thirty two. You press start, it'll wipe it. No big deal. Just take some time. And now if we go into the flash drive location. It will be. It'll have these two things in here. <clears throat> as far as I could tell, those don't matter. But you're gonna nick a folder. You're gonna call it uh, boot. No, you're gonna call it EFI. And then within that folder, you're gonna make a folder called boot. Make sure these are both in all caps. And then from that folder you extracted from the uh, RUEXE website with the password and all that, you want to drag the ru.efi into boot and you want to rename it and this it is case sensitive boot x64 and it's already .efi um, so that should be fine that's all that's all there is to it and make sure you have smart what is it called fast boot and secure boot disabled for this, otherwise your boot menu might not allow you to boot from external flash drives or any other external source for that matter. So uh, I'm going to swap over to my phone because that's the only other way I have to record my screen from here on out. And I'll see you there. Alright, don't mind my rat's nest of uh, cables and shit here, but flash drive is plugged in through a hub. doesn't have to be through a hub. Plug it in any of the ports. I just have a lot of shit hooked up. My keyboard, my monitor, mouse, controller, hard drive, all that. But you want to turn on the computer. 
and if it will get it's kicking on and you want to spam F12 because on this computer F12 brings you to the boot menu just press it until down in that corner F12 gets highlighted it's now highlighted and then you want to select your flash drive for me it's SanDisk once you're here uh, make sure you have an external keyboard plugged in or else it won't work but you'll be at a, a little utility looks like this you press alt C once alt C twice that'll bring you up to the uh, top ribbon over there and you go to UEFI variable which will be right here press enter and then you want to scroll around uh, some guides will say it's on part page two some will say it's on page three for me it's on page two so I go to page two I find D01 setup config press enter and then you want to go down to 72 so you're over you're down to row 70 column 2 you press enter and you want to change that to 01 the numpad won't work you have to use the uh, top number of arrow keys but you change that to 01 and then also that disables the uh, weird hybrid sleep state that the laptop comes in very huge inconvenience nobody nobody likes it and then after that you go down to 98 and you change 98 to 00, zero just as it looks here don't worry about the other values the only ones that really matter are 98 and 72 so 72 should be 0, 01 98 should be 00, zero. and then after that's all done you press I think it's Alt W to write. Let me see here. I think it's Alt W. No, it's Control W. You press Control W to write all that, and then once it's written, uh, something will show up like. Here, I'll just do it. Control W. It'll say OK, updated, no big deal. And then you press Alt C. You don't have to wait for that to go away. It won't go away until you put an input in. And you press Alt C. Then you quit. Press Enter. And your computer will restart. And uh, yeah, from here on out, you won't have Smart Shift and you won't have the. Uh, the uh, weird hybrid sleep state it has. Just to make sure that everything's saved, you go into PowerShell or Command Prompt as an administrator, type Power CFG flag A, and you'll see the power states listed below. Should look a little something like that. And then after that, you will go to the Radeon software. If I could find it. There it is, and see that there is no more smart shift. It's just GPU 1, GPU 2, and your CPU and all that other stuff in there. Um, yep, that's how it should look.